Okay, this problem tells us that there is a horse that is cantering away from his trainer in a straight line, moving 37 meters away in 10 seconds, and then turning around and then coming back halfway in 1.9 seconds. So calculate the average speed. Remember, speed is a scalar quantity, meaning direction is not needed. It doesn't matter. Only velocity will have direction and magnitude. Speed, just magnitude. So speed would just be total distance. So I'll say distance total all over time total. So the horse moves 37 meters and then it turns around and does another half of that 37. So we did 37 meters first and then the horse turned around and did half of that. So 37 over 2. That would be our total distance. So the first 37 took 10 seconds and the other 37 over 2 took 1.9 seconds. So our time total would be 1.9 plus 10 seconds. And this is meters. So meters over seconds would give us speed. And if you calculate all that in your calculator, you'll get 4.7 meters over seconds. That would be your answer. Now the second part of this problem says calculate the average velocity for the entire trip using away from the trainer as a positive direction. So the horse, which I'm going to represent by this dot, goes 37 meters. So away from the trainer, so I'm going to say trainer's over here. I'll just draw a person. So here's the trainer. And now the horse, I'm just going to draw a box. <laughs> That's actually, this is the horse. <laughs> Anyways, so it goes 37 meters. That's the positive direction because we're going away from the trainer. But now we're going back towards the trainer, which would be the opposite direction, so this would be negative. Remember, velocity is a vector. So velocity is vector, meaning we have both magnitude and direction. Magnitude just means size. Direction is just plus or minus, so plus or minus. So we did 37 meters in the positive direction. We turned around and did half of that in the negative direction. So our horse is going back halfway, which is 37 over two. But since it's in the opposite direction, we need to put a negative here. So velocity equals change over x over time. Time is still the total amount. So we would have 37 minus 37 over 2, all over our time total, which is 1.9 plus 10, which is 11.9 seconds. So we do these two things. We divide them, meters over seconds. And our final answer will be 1.6 meters over seconds. I hope this video helped explain things. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.